Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed, Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. My, it's nice to be home on a Sunday evening and not out, isn't it? I've been working on my home. What are you going to do? First thing, I'm going to ask you to find yourself something to keep yourself busy. But I don't want to be busy. I want to do nothing Fine. with you. Do nothing with me because I've got things to do and I need peace and quiet. Oh, things to do. Peace and quiet. You make doing nothing sound awfully difficult and important. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to fill out my income tax report. Oh, that. It's fine for you to say, oh, that. <laughs> Have you ever filled out one of these things? Of course not. I never had any income. I don't think you realize just how grateful you should be. David, is it going to take you all evening? I hope not. Not if you will cooperate. I'd love to. What can I do to help? Be quiet. Oh. I know that's asking a great deal, darling, but just tonight, make a big effort. I'm sleepy. Wonderful. Why don't you go right into bed and get a good long night's sleep? Huh? Now, without you, I wouldn't think of it. I was afraid of that. So you hurry. I'll be quiet as a mouse and sew buttons on all your shirts. Well, if you must. Hmm. It'll be nice. And quiet, I hope. Oh, settle down. Now, yeah. mm-hmm. here's the blank and the copy. Blotter mm-hmm. my pen. Mm-hmm. Now, where did I put those buttons? Sew one on your lower lip, darling. <laughs> I look lovely walking around with a button sewed on my lower lip. <laughs> Should I use a little white button or a great big button? I am button? sorry I brought it up. Now, shh. No two blocks. Shh. David, you have to make out this income tax business tonight. Claudia, if it isn't in the mail tonight before midnight, I'll get a nasty letter. From who? From the government. Oh. I'll have to pay 6% interest on all amount due for the length of time and it's overdue. Is that all? Honestly, it amazes me how you men are afraid of a silly little tax. I do not deign to answer that. Better hurry. I'm getting awfully sleepy. Well, don't you want to go? No, I don't. I'm waiting for you. I've been working on my income all a long day. Your income, Your income is what you get from the business, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah. Do we have anything else? Oh, I've got a few stocks and bonds, but they haven't paid off much this year. Mm, I see. What do you see? Simply, we haven't had a very good year. Financially, I mean. It's been all right. If you've received any other income, give details on page two. It's been pretty good. Nothing to complain about. We haven't saved anything, though, have we? What with getting the furniture and moving into this apartment and paying the fine. We'll manage. I've kept an eye on the uh, bank account. But it's not right to spend more than your income. We haven't. I have a little money saved. Saved. What is this all about? Oh, nothing, since you seem to think it's all right, but I... But, but what? I just don't think we can afford an income tax this year with all our other expenses. Afford it or not, we have to pay it. How much? Between seven and nine hundred. Seven and nine hundred, I forbid it. Good, I'll write to the government. My wife forbids it. Now, are you satisfied? All right, have it your way. I was just trying to help. Go back to your buttons. Please, darling, I'm going back. No, we'll be ready to go to bed in, in no time at all. I'm through with the buttons. I've sewed them all. How many? Two. You don't call two sewing on buttons. I must have torn off more than that since we've been married. I've been doing them all along. Do you think I let things pile up the way you let this income tax business pile up? Thank you. I'll just sit here and watch you. That, that'll be fine. And I won't say another word. That'll be even better. David. I didn't hear you. I didn't say anything but David. Yet. I am waiting. David, what's a deduction? What's a what? 
A deduction. It's written there, right there on that page. What is it? You. Me? You're a deduction. Is that good? It's the best thing about you. Oh. But why am I a deduction? Because as far as the government is concerned, you are an expense to me. I am? Mm. Well, that's not a very nice thing to call me after I go to all the trouble of not spending a lot of money and of not buying a lot of clothes and going to sales. You like sales. Well, it's just lucky I do. Now, darling, please try to understand it. There's nothing personal about this. As far as the government concerned, a, a, a wife is an expense to a husband, no matter how much money she tries to save him. Well, it's very unfair of the government. I suppose it's because the government is made up mostly of men. That's the reason. That's mm -hmm. it. I had to marry a woman. Can't you see, darling, expenses like you are profitable? No, I can't see. If ever a woman gets to be president... Heavens help the country. But you are a good expense because you are a deduction. A deduction from what? From my total gross income. Oh. And when I've deducted all the deductions from my total gross income, I pay income tax on what's left. Oh, is that how you figure it out? It's as simple as that. You mean you understand? Certainly. What do you think I am? I will not answer that question. Now I know why you married me. It's not a bad reason. Each wife a deduction. I mean, if you had more than one. I refuse to even think about that. It would sap my strength. Oh, darling. I love you, too. You do? Very much? Have I ever told you how much? This is your, your big chance, darling. By showing me just I how... know. I'll be quiet. Is Bluff a deduction? Who? Who? Two. Bluff the dog, of course. No, he isn't. Well, it's one I have over him, isn't it? But he eats. He eats more than I do. That, unfortunately, can't be helped. I don't know. There, there's just no sense in things when you... Try and be legal about them. Twenty-five. Darling, are babies a deduction? Mm hmm? Babies? Yes, yes, babies are deductions. Well, then don't forget to put eyes down. How lucky I became a mother on time. Mm, Claudia, you are not a mother yet. Well, I'm as good as. You're going to put him down, aren't you? Well, I'm, uh... Claudia, we won't have a baby until the end of June. That's three and one-half months from now. Oh, well, put half a baby down. Oh. We can have half a deduction that way, can't we? No? Really, there's no system to this at all. I tell you what we'll do. What? We'll deduct him next year. You know, David, I was just thinking... What? If we have six children, we'll have six deductions, won't we? We will. Well, that'll save us a lot of money, won't it? Darling... Having children is expensive. You you said so yourself. But that was before I understood all about income tax. Now, six deductions is six times as good as one deduction, right? In a way. So, it seems to me that the point is to have enough deductions to deduct from your income so that you have nothing left to pay income tax on. That's it, isn't it? No. No, it isn't. But it must be. Uh, Claudia. No, I want you to listen to me. Yes. Now, listen. Now, try and get this through your head. Mm -hmm. If you had so many deductions that you had no income left over, you wouldn't have enough money to pay your income tax. Exactly. So you wouldn't have to pay it. But that isn't the way it works. Now, you get... Now, look. You get $400 to deduct for each dependent. But that doesn't mean you have to spend it. Oh, now I'm getting mixed up. Only $400. Well, it costs $300 to have a baby born by a doctor, and then there are a lot of more expenses afterwards, too. Maybe I better call up Dr. Rowland and tell him about it. Let's see, 300 from 400. Well, that only leaves 100 to go. Yes, why don't you call him up? Call him up. Call, call him up right now. Go ahead, go ahead. Call oh, up anybody. You can wait until morning, I guess. I have an idea. Why don't you go and call up Mama? Mama's out tonight with Aunt Louisa. Oh, everything happens to me. It's all right, David. I know why you're angry. It's because everything I've said is right. And because the government refuses to see it that way. <clears throat> it's not your fault. 
I'm not blaming you at all. Well, thank the Lord for little blessings. Almost finished? I haven't almost begun. You haven't? Oh, David, does it take that long to do it? Longer. And just one more word, darling. If you ask me one more single, little one-syllable question, I will not answer it. Understand? Well, do you? Yes, 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 I do. That's all but I wanted David, to know. But, David, if, if, if... That's all I wanted to know. Now, let me see. Where was I? Yeah. You were doing deductions. Oh, yes, I see. Now, losses from fire, storm, shipwrecks, theft, or other casualties. Well, what other casualty could there be? We haven't had any of those this year, have we? Medical and dental expense. None of those either. I've got wonderful teeth. Doesn't seem to pay, though, does it? Contributions, 500 plus interest. In interest in what? I've got lots of interest. You don't pay interest in things. You pay them on things. Like? Interest on a loan, uh, on the mortgage for our house. Oh. 25. Oh, darling, I love being a deduction. Let's go to bed. I'll be finished in just a little while now, darling. Just, just a few minutes if you're absolutely quiet. Well, that's worth being quiet for. Say, David, will you explain me what's a mortgage? The mortgage. I, I had to mention the mortgage. David, what's the matter? Why shouldn't you mention a mortgage? A mortgage? My beloved deduction is a long, long story. Yes? So take your choice. Is it a mortgage or bed? These broadcasts are... Hey, Joe. Uh, yes, David? Tell me, have you ever tried explaining income tax to your wife? Oh, yes, I tried it once. I did just about as well as you did. Well, what about mortgages? Well, I haven't attempted mortgages yet. Well, I'm afraid I'm not going to have any peace from Claudia until she thinks she knows what a mortgage is. Well, when do you think the big lesson will begin? Soon. Not only soon, but Monday. I know I won't be able to put it off much longer than that. Well, I wish you luck, David. <laughs> I'll need it. Claudia has a way of making the simplest things complicated and the most complicated things simple. Uh, say, David, when you're through explaining a mortgage to Claudia on Monday, uh... Hey, how about coming over to my house and explaining it to my wife? Not on your life. So long. <laughs> so long, David. Uh, these broadcasts star Catherine Bard as Claudia and Paul Crabtree as David. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. <laughs> Suppose you worked in an office or a factory. When you'd been at it steadily for some time, you'd pause to refresh yourself at the Coke cooler. Just because you work at home, there's no reason to deny yourself the delicious refreshment of Coca-Cola. Simply see to it that the refrigerator is well supplied. A pause for ice-cold Coca-Cola will send you back to work refreshed. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again Monday at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause. The pause that refreshes... <laughs>